to say it's one thing surviving the house, another thing surviving TIFF. Have you seen her since then? No. No, I haven't, no. Did she not no. come to the party then? I don't think she was there, I don't know. You didn't go um, looking? I didn't go looking, <laughs> if I'm honest. But, you know, it, do you know what? It was, it was such an experience and uh, um, I'm so glad I did it. I have to say I'm really... Uh, Damon, I've got to be honest, obviously I was working on the show every single day and you... Were you? Yeah, yeah, yeah that. I sometimes do it, <laughs> sometimes do it. Um, but you really were one of a, a small amount of people in that house that walked out of there pretty much unscathed. You, yeah. you walked away with Thank people you. changing their opinion on you, but for the positive rather than the negative. How, mm. how does it feel? Because I knew that's really what you wanted mm. to get out of it. Yeah, that was, that was the reason I went in. You know, it was, you know, I know you can't make everyone like you. There's always going to be, you know, half people like you, half people don't. But it was just, I wanted the opportunity for the British public and the British media just to, just to have an opinion of me now, of where I'm at now, as opposed to mm. the guy they read about in the tabloids for, for many years. And, um, and the re you know, to be honest, the reaction I've had in the street and at stage door and on social media has been lovely, like overwhelmingly lovely. Oh, my God. That's in the That's jungle. The jungle. All, the shots, all the shots. Was that the first series? <laughs> yeah, the first the ever series. Yeah, we were like the guinea pigs in the jungle. Uh, but um, but no, it's been amazing. I mean, I have to say, I, it was it's a unique experience, the house, uh, and I, I'm I'm really grateful to the producers because it it has really turn things around and for me. Was, well, we were grateful. You were one of the easiest yeah. ones to work was, with. <laughs> was that the real deal? Because we were saying, you know, you were saying you definitely, you talked about that, saying I definitely went in there to change this perception of me as Darren Day, the love rat, the drug addict, you know, the guy who, who drank too much. Yeah. But what did we see the real you? Or were you very conscious all the time of don't get involved, don't lose your temper, keep calm? Because you were so calm and there were lots yeah. of times there when I think even the nicest, calmest of person could have blown. I, I'm very calm these days, you know, uh, and I think that I think when you're in there for 31 days, it would be very hard to keep up a, a facade, you yeah. know, a front. Not borrowing would you just be in Hollywood? Yeah, <laughs> if you can do that, that's what I'd yeah. say. Yeah. So I, yeah, I, I, I think I was me. Like, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go in there and just be me, and I think I was. I, I'm, you know, I was very volatile in my early days and my younger years, but. I am very calm these was days. That, was it the drugs and the drink that turned you into that person? I mean, what was the Darren Day like before, before you had that fame and before you had those problems which you've talked about very publicly? Yeah. W w was the young Darren Day a nice, calm, lovely chap? And did that change you, the drugs and the drink? And I think I was a little bit of a volatile younger man anyway. Uh, and, uh, uh, but, the, the, you know, the drugs and the drink and everything kind of accelerated all that. And, uh, accentuated it, I suppose, um, over many years. <laughs>